Hello, good morning, my lovely viewers. This is Mama Gaffa Friday. I hope everybody is doing well. Happy New Year to everybody. It has been long that you people saw my new video. Uh, it has been busy, 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 traveling, traveling all the time. Okay. Uh, I went to Israel. Seriously, I went to Israel. I have to go and see some clients over there. And the city that I went to is uh, Haifa. And the hotel that my client made me sleep was um, Bay Viewer Hotel. And the place was so wonderful. I loved the city. The people were so nice to me. They treated me nicely. I really appreciate them. Okay. Uh, this morning, I came to share one or two things with you. Uh, first of all, I brought a new product that is going to help my fellow women, and especially the married women and the single women. And uh, the women that are in marriage and uh, instead of happiness, what they feel is pain, tears, worries, and the rest. There is no respect coming from their husband to them cheating left and right and it's like nothing like respect in the marriage and uh, my higher powers i used to do it but i stopped doing it because of busy busy but they let me bring it back and it does wonderful work seriously this product is very powerful this is what i'm talking about it's a bee this bee has been in my secret room for three good months now i was working on it uh, there are powers that angels that uh, angel of love angel of understanding angel of peace angel of calmness and angel of attraction they came and work on this bee for me because in married what so they came and work on it for me okay in marriage what do we need in marriage if you want to be happy in marriage first woman what you're supposed to do is to respect your husband that is the first thing you're supposed to do. If you are doing all these things and still there is no peace in your house, there is something you must do. Okay. This bee has been in my secret room for three good months. I did rituals. I invoke the angel of peace, angel of love, angel of attraction, and angel of happiness. Angel that brings family together. Angels that make a man who see you and love you like the way he saw you first day, the way he fell in love with you. That angel is a love angel. So they came and worked on it for me. And this bee is very powerful. Very, very powerful. It will bring peace to your home. I am not targeting only the married woman. Even if you are a single woman and you are a type of woman, you do everything, everything woman supposed to do to support a man. You know yourself that you are that woman. But whenever whenever you put something on the table, at the long run, they disappoint you. Disappointment all over. You can help a man when it is time for you to reap what you've sown. The man will disappoint you. Please, this be belongs to you. You have to buy this, my product. It's very good. It's very, very good. Okay. If you are a lady to you are in a relationship, and the man is not respecting you. You are a married woman. And your husband is not respecting you. Please, get this my product. I am going to demonstrate how you are going to do it before you put it on. If you are a single woman, you are 25 years. And you know you have a fiancé. You have been with that guy 3 years, 2 years, 5 years, 6 years, 7 years, 8 years. And the guy is not ready to propose to you. Not that he doesn't have to ask your hand in marriage. You know he can get married to you, but he's not proposing. Please, get this, my product. It's a very wonderful, powerful product. He's going to propose whether he likes it or not. It's not something that I did it for him to become a legger or a Jimmy Jimmy. No. It's a natural something that if you put this product on, oh my goodness, you will look beautiful like every day. If your man see you, the first day, 
the love that he felt before proposing to you, that love will continue growing in him. So he will not go to work and come back around 10 p.m. No. If he goes to work, he will come back straight. He will not go and stay with another woman whilst you and your children, you are there waiting for your husband. Your man is not going to chase another woman because you helped him to become who he is. And if you know you respect a man, but a man does not respect you, please get this B. I am not, this B is not for people who jump from men to men, no. If you know you have a one particular man that you want him to get married to you, this is for you. This bead is not for women who goes after husband, somebody's husband. No, it's not going to work. I did not do it like that. If you're a type of a woman who jump from people husband to husband, if you buy this thing, you will throw your money away. I am talking about a serious women who want to settle down this year. Women who want peace in their home. Women who want their men to propose to them so that they can settle down. If you are a woman, you are jumping from man to man. A time will come, no man will propose to you again. Before you will realize you are old and you cannot get any man to settle down with you. So if you have someone in mind, that you know you cherish that man so well, but the man is not proposing. Please, get this bead. It's going to help you to settle down with that man. Okay, I want to demonstrate it for you to see how it works. If you are not in, even in a relationship, like men don't propose to you. My sister, get this bead. If you are in a relationship, a relationship just break up. Please, get this bead and do my charm, you are going to grab him back. Get this bead. That is what I am trying to say. It's not for women who want to snatch some people's husband. No. You use it, it's not going to work for you. I'm repeating it again. It does not, it's not a charm that is going to charm people's husband. No. If you have someone in mind and you know that that man is the man you want to settle down with, you have been with that man. You've helped him. Or he has proposed to you that he wants to get married to you. You have been with him one year, two years, three years. And up till now, he's not proposing again. Please, get it. As long as you are in that relationship, get it for me. So I'm coming to demonstrate it. This is how you are going to do it. It has already been powered. It's a very wonderful, it's a spiritual being. I've already prepared it. It has been in my secret room for three months. So I am coming to demonstrate it for you. If you buy it, then you do it yourself. Okay. This is how you are going to do it. First of all, you open it. After you open it, there is things inside. This one is the ingredient you are going to use. You see how small it is? It's something that I bought it in the spirit realm. If I said I bought something in the spirit realm, I did not use money to buy it. No. You have to do rituals for the spirits that will give you the thing. You do the rituals for the spirit. The spirit will bring it to your secret room. Then you can use it to do whatsoever that you want. So this one, something it's inside, is attract, it attracts men. It's inside. Love is here also. So this one is the medicine. Okay, let's put this one here. Another one also is here, and this is the bead. I'm coming to demonstrate how you are going to do it. Okay. I'm opening it for you to see what I'm doing. Okay. This is A4 sheet paper. Plain. This is A4 sheet paper. It's very plain. You can see I have not written anything on it. And this paper also, it was in my secret room. The spirit that's supposed to bless it for me has already done his own work. Okay. So this is the paper. What are you going to do with this paper? You put it down. You use your pencil. You don't use pen. You use pencil. 
then let's assume the man that you want him to get married to you or the man that you want him to propose to you or your husband that is not giving you the respect that is due to you or the husband that is giving you trouble insulting you going outside cheating on you sleeping with all kinds of women outside there you are going to write his name on this a4 sheet paper so i'm coming to write my husband name writing my husband's name okay okay but i will not mention his name so i will use different name to demonstrate as my husband's name so this is it okay so let's assume my husband's name is nidodu so you will write you your own husband name or the man that you want him to propose to you or the man that is in your mind you know your people are in a relationship but he doesn't want to settle down with you but you want him to settle down with you you are going to write his name on this a4 sheet paper as i've done my own okay you will fold it nicely again if you finish you will put it inside the bead bottle like this let's put it here okay I would like to ask a question. Whenever we cook, if we want our food to be tasty, what do we put inside? God has given us something that if we put inside, the food tasted very well and it's salt. But this salt is not an ordinary salt. I've worked on it. So it's a spiritual salt. I use some certain things to cook it so that it will be very powerful and it will be tasty. It's not going to make you look beautiful or attractive. Even your thing will be sweet. Like if I said your thing, ladies, you have to understand me. It will make you very sweet. Very, very sweet. So this is the salt, the spiritual salt. This salt has been in my secret room for three good months. I've worked on it. I did rituals and angels has come and they blessed it for me. So it's no longer an ordinary salt. Okay, this is what you are going to do for me. You open the salt. You open it nicely. Don't let anyone fall because it's a spiritual something. Then you put it inside the bottle as I'm doing it. You see? Then you put it inside. So it's inside. Okay. After you finish putting it inside, then this is your powerful charm. You are going to use this powder because it's a spiritual something. I'm not going to pour it into my mouth, but I, I'm trying to let you know that you have to pour it into your mouth. You open it nicely, then you pour all into your mouth. After you finish pouring it, you chew it, you swallow it. If you finish, you don't have to talk to anybody. Any day that you are going to do this thing, you have to do it alone. You have to be in your room. You do it alone so that nobody will worry you with stuff. Because immediately you pour this spiritual powder in your mouth. There is power in your sank. So you have to remember what I just said. Don't talk to anybody. Whatsoever that you tell that person is going to come to pass. So you are using it to grab your mind. So you shouldn't talk to anybody. Okay. So after you taking it, then this is my water i'm going to use the water you pour it on a clean water you pour it on the bead you pour it on the bead okay i have to pour it for it to at least have to be a little bit full but not that full okay 
so i think it's okay so let me put this one here then i'll tell you what to do this is my cover i cover it nicely okay this is what you are going to do for me your salt is inside your husband name is inside or your fiance name is inside so we we've put in everything in it now we will put it here if you are a smarter person like me you don't need a stone let's assume my husband name is Nidodu, as i said but that is not my husband name so Nidodu, you are going to pick a stone you are going to pick a stone then you put it down you are going to pick a stone like 40 let's assume this is my stone eh? let's assume this is my stone but it's my carriage that i normally use to do my work by you you are going to use a stone you will use a proper stone you are going to use 108 108 the reason why i said you should use a stone is that maybe if you are coming to do what i'm about to do you may forget the number you because we are going to count it so this is what you are going to do you will hold your bead then you will start shaking it if you shake it like this need do need do need do do need do do need do do need do do you will do it like that 108 what are you doing you are calling his spirit you are calling his spirit into the bead even though you cover it but because it's not an ordinary bead so any name that you mention that name must appear the spirit of that person must know that someone is calling him and if you are doing that please you don't have to think about any other man except that man you want him to propose to you except your husband except your boyfriend that you want to settle down with don't take my words for granted if you pour this powder in your mouth don't think about any other man except your husband any other man except the man you want him to settle down with you except the man that you want him to propose to you the man that you want him to propose to you that is the man name you are going to be thinking of so whilst you are shaking it then you are mentioning his name then you are picking it. but if you know you can remember the the numbers that the the numbers that you are shaking you can remember it without using the stone then you shake it you set it one you have to mention the man's name before you you will be counting it in your mind need to do need to do need to do without using the stone if you know you can do it 100 and 108 then you don't need the stone okay when you finish the 108 what are you going to do you are going to keep it down for three days then after three days you will take it you will repeat the same thing you mention the man's name you shake it for 100 and 108 then you pour this water in your water that you are going to bath you pour it into it then you will go and bath it you dry the bee if it get dry you wear it simple as that if you make love to your husband that is it he will not go outside again if this bee is on your waist your husband make love to you you seal the love he is not going outside again if he goes out he will come back early the respect that you deserve he will give it to you the proposing that you want him to propose to you nobody will tell him he should propose to you so please get this bead so that your relationship will stand so that your marriage will stand so that your husband 
will be with you and your children. Thank you. So this is it. If you want it, you can call me on 0241 535350 or you can give me message. I don't want long message. Ask me, Mamaga, how much is your bid? And I'll give you the price. How much is your bid? And I'll give you the price. Send me a message if you want this bid. Just write it there. I want some of the bid. How much is it? Finish. Thank you.